Andrew Lloyd Webber's old writing partner, Tim Rice, had also found success hard to come by with the musical Blondell. But when he teamed up with one of the most successful songwriting duos of the 70s, it appeared his fortunes might be changing. As with Evita, Tim had come up with a radical idea. Both Benny and I were intrigued because the backdrop was the Cold War. And, and we were, you know, very close to the Soviet Union. The threat was very tangible from Stockholm, much more so than from London, I think. Chess told the story of Russian and American grandmasters battling it out against a backdrop of the Cold War, an ambitious premise for a musical. The story became convoluted, and I think a lot of people didn't quite get it, you know. And in chess can be pretty terrifying to a lot of people, just the mention of the word. One of the problems chess has had is it is a complicated story. It's quite a grown-up story, I like to think. And really, it needs, at times, subtitles. Because when you get more than three or four people singing, it's very hard to hear the words. Wasn't it good? So But on opening, Chess did perform well, and with the show pulling in the audiences, Rice, Benny and Bjorn spied a chance to follow in the footsteps of Lloyd Webber and Cameron McIntosh. After the show's success in London, the Broadway production of Chess opened in a blaze of optimism. Is there a new word on Broadway for success? Yes, Chess. But this weekend, after only two months, Chess is expected to close killed its claimed by the critics, who with one or two notable exceptions didn't like what they saw and heard and said so in savage manner. A lot of critics were very pissed off with the fact that um, the British invasion, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Cameron Mackintosh, dominated, um, you know, the Broadway scene and then he, they, certainly did not like that. And so here comes a musical that's from Europe and very vulnerable, and a musical that's easy to kill. <laughs> Derided by the critics as turgid and overblown, Chess had another problem, its timing. By the late 80s, a musical set against a backdrop of the Cold War suddenly seemed horribly out of tune. I think chess was clobbered by the fact that the Cold War ended. We kept worrying about what was going to be in the papers and we'd go, oh my God, terrible news, the, the Berlin Wall's come down, this is awful, this will ruin our show. <laughs> and then they forced open another gate and piled through it. The bloody Iron Curtain had to come down and ruin the whole thing for us. <laughs> so, it was bad timing. Chess ultimately failed in its ambitions.